Okay. Let's look at the implementation of ionic strength calculations and activity coefficient calculations using uh, Microsoft Excel. So I have two expressions that come out of our text. Equation 7.-3 is the calculation for uh, the solution ionic strength. The solution ionic strength is one half the concentration of each species times the charge of that species squared. So if we come over here, I've created a simple table, plus one cations, plus two cations, plus three cations. You could expand this to include plus four cations if you wanted to. Minus anions, minus two anions, minus three anions. And so this green box would be the sum of all of the plus one cations because they would effectively be treated the same in this expression. So let's assume we used a... <clears throat> 0.1 molar sodium chloride, so I'd have 0.1 molar sodium ions, 0.1 molar chloride ions, and I could add any complex electrolyte um, solution to these to the uh, appropriate boxes here. The ionic strength then is half B5 times 1, B6 times 4, because you would square the 2, B7 times 9, because you would square the 3, and then I do the same thing for the anions. B8, B9, and B10, and the half is this one half here. So you'll see that for a one-to-one -one electrolyte, the ionic strength is equal to the concentration. If you went to a two-to-one or two-to-two -two electrolyte, um, the ionic strength would be considerably larger. Um, so, now that I have the ionic strength defined, I can go on and calculate um, the activity coefficient. So the activity coefficient is a function of ionic strength, so I'm going to carry this down into my ionic strength term, and I need to know the ion size parameter um, in units of picometers, in this case, um, to do this calculation. So again, equation 7-6, the log of the activity coefficient is negative 0.51 times z squared, times the square root of the ionic strength, divided by 1 plus alpha, this is the ion size parameter, square root of the ionic strength divided by 305. So this is the uh, expression for solutions at 25 degrees. So Harris has a nice table where you can look up the ions. They're sorted by charge, the ion size parameter. And I use this uh, ionic strength table to sort of test my Excel um, uh, calculation. So we'll do that at the end. All right, so here's my ionic strength for a plus one or minus one uh, charge. We expect the activity coefficient to be 0.7533. And that's too many sig figs, so I really should decrease these. I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Um, so let's see if we do okay on that. There's my 0.1. I'm going to go to an ion size of 300, 0 0.755, 0 0.753. Yes, um, we have good agreement um, for this calculation right here. 450. Let's go up to 450, uh, 0.775. Interesting that I'm getting a slight difference here between the table. Not a lot, but a slight difference um, between the table and uh, my calculation. Okay, I got it. I found my error. My cation concentration was right. My anion concentration is right. My ionic strength was right. But when I came down to the <coughs> activity coefficient calculation, I had was using the ion size parameter from cell B21 instead of the ion size parameter in cell B14. So now that I'm using the correct ion size parameter and an ionic strength of 0.1 with a charge of plus or minus 1, I get 0.776. Come over to 0.1, come down to 450, 0.775. I agree well. I can now change this 0 0.05, 0 0.05. If you're going to mess with these, make sure the charge balances, right? Cation charge and anion charge must be equal. 0.05 at a charge of plus or minus 1 gives me an activity coefficient of 0.821.
come down here, 0.82. Good, I get good agreement. So this is one of the advantages of these tabulated values here, is they give us a check value to make sure that our calculations are correct. And if we want to look at how the uh, <coughs> activity coefficient changes as a function of ionic strength, I can make a simple table. So I'll pick 300 for all of the species. So I've got charge going across the top of my uh, columns. I've got ionic strength going from uh, a very low value. We'll do uh, 0 0.001 all the way up to uh, almost 0.1. And in this case, I've got 10 raised to the negative 0 0.5. Um, the B23 is going to be my charge. B23. Uh, my A24 is going to be my ionic strength, hat raised to the half, square root, 1 plus B21. B21 is my ion size parameter, times the square root of the ionic strength, again, A24, um, divided by 305. And so these all fill down by using the dollar signs to create absolute addresses. And notice this A27. I want the A to be fixed, but the 27 to increment up. I do the same thing here. Um, and these now give me ionic uh, activity coefficients as a function of increasing ionic strength. And you can see in this plot, that the plus and minus one species go from an activity coefficient of one out to about 0.7 at an ionic strength of 0.1, whereas if we compare this to the plus or minus four, we get a dramatic decrease in the activity coefficient with increasing ionic strength.